Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Now, it probably doesn't seem this way to you guys, but it definitely feels this way for me. It seems like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time because I recently got married at the start of this month and I immediately went on my honeymoon and I now have returned. And in the meanwhile, I filled up those days with some pre-recorded videos. So it's nice to return to some live and up-to-date content. And while I was gone, apparently a lot happened because I wasn't around on places like Twitter, for example, and there's a lot of content to farm. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the latest Twitch meta. And unsurprisingly, like every other Twitch meta to ever exist, this meta involves primarily OnlyFans creators creating highly sexualized streams on Twitch to promote off-site adult content. And you can see right here, this trend is a very simple one to understand. It is called the topless meta, where essentially, primarily, female streamers go onto Twitch and they show everything but their actual nipples, to be frank. And that is the content that they're streaming. And it's, of course, to promote things like their OnlyFans. Now, we have seen this before, okay? About a year ago, the big hot tub explosion was popular on Twitch, where we had all kinds of streamers in micro bikinis grinding up on pool toys, doing crazy stuff. And it was all protected on Twitch as hot tub streams. Well, eventually a lot of users on Twitch got tired of that meta and the highly sexualized content being promoted on Twitch. And eventually that reached advertisers who also didn't like this stuff, who ended up threatening to pull their ads from Twitch until Twitch made a separate tab for this sort of content where it is highly demonetized and a lot of advertisers do not allow their ads to flow onto. We're seeing this repeat once again. And this right here is perhaps the patient zero of this new trend. Now, Dexerto would describe this creator who's named, I believe, Asian Bunny as the latest streamer to do this trick. Now, I'm gonna be brutally honest, I don't consider these people streamers in terms of Twitch streamers because they are only there to promote adult content, which many people don't believe belongs on Twitch in the first place. This is a very popular tactic a lot of OnlyFans creators do. They go over to Twitch, they make highly sexualized trends where they push the boundaries of Twitch to the point where they get banned, but in the meanwhile, they promote their OnlyFans account enough to the point where it's worth their while until eventually they're unbanned and then they repeat the same cycle again. This happens because Twitch has put themselves into a bind, okay? They want to act on the one hand that no women will be objectified on their platform, that women are safe here. And then when women objectify themselves voluntarily, like with this meta right here, they try to bury their head in the sand and act like this isn't sexualized content when it clearly is. And now they're in this weird situation where a lot of attention is being drawn to streamers like this and Twitch is dragging their feet and trying to wait out the storm and hope that people don't continue to be mad about this and bring attention to advertisers. Well, like I said, she was the patient zero. Now we have Morg Pie here who's another person who highly popularized this trend and it would get her a lot of attention and eventually a lot of attention from really all of social media where you can see tweets like this by Dick Serto saying what's going on at Twitch with a picture of her stream. This tweet has nearly a hundred million views. That's to give you an idea of how many people were talking about this topless trend. And the big question a lot of people are immediately asking is, well, should this be allowed on Twitch? And really it's more about whether or not Twitch wants to allow this. A lot of people are calling out the hypocrisy of how a lot of female streamers can post content like this and not get banned. Meanwhile, male creators get banned for far less. And also a lot of people are comparing the fact that these live cam streamers can get away with a lot, but VTubers can get banned for simple things like cleavage. Now, we saw a lot of people try to shift the narrative. I've seen a lot of tweets like this, basically trying to blame straight men for the outrage surrounding this new Twitch meta. When in reality, this has nothing to do with women themselves. It has to do with the people taking advantage of this trend. Now, I'm going to splash some cold water on you guys. I think there's a lot of misinformation surrounding this whole trend. And I think a lot of people are overreacting to some of the things involving this trend. And I think there's L's going everywhere. Number one, I don't think this trend is as popularized as a lot of people are trying to make it out to be. If you went to the front page when this was at its height of its popularity, you could go through like a hundred streamers on the front page. You might find two or three people doing this. But obviously, because of the highly sexualized content, it sticks out really well, doesn't it? And it's very noticeable and it got a lot of people upset. I also think that really this is more of a hate the, the game, not the player kind of a situation where these streamers are taking advantage of Twitch 
where Twitch is allowing them to do this. Now, there's a lot of other concerns about these creators in general promoting adult content on a place like Twitch, but we'll get into that in a second. But a lot of people are shifting the narrative into this is misogyny. This outrage is all just men hating women when it's not about that. It's about people having concerns and complaints about highly sexualized content existing on Twitch without any sort of a punishment from the platform. Now, I saw this burn here, and I think it sums up what a lot of people are saying. And now this creator right here in particular will be a big topic of conversation for the next couple of minutes. But this user quoted a picture of their Twitch stream saying, doing this to get an audience of teenagers because no one will pay you much attention on a regular adult site is messed up. That is a brutal burn, but there's definitely some truth to that because we all know that there is a much higher volume of teenagers on a place like Twitch than really any of these adult sites that we're talking about. And the fact that they're coming to this platform, they have to know that a high volume of their viewers are going to be underage users, which I think people should have a problem with, right? This isn't just some, you know, etchy content. I mean, this is adult content, okay? This is pushing the boundaries as far as it can go with the sole intent of promoting adult platforms outside of Twitch. Now, we've seen even people who make adult content calling out this trend, like Momokun here, saying, this is entirely inappropriate to do on Twitch, and just because you can get away with it on the guidelines doesn't make it acceptable. Trying to expose teenagers to your sex work is not okay, and should sit weird with you. Adults are not sitting on Twitch looking for sex work. Now, to be fair, I think there's a mix. It goes both ways, okay? There's plenty of adults looking for adult content on Twitch, just like there's underage users looking for adult content on traditional adult platforms when they shouldn't be there in the first place, by the way. But those things do cross over. But the point is still valid. People don't identify Twitch with adult content. And that's why people are confused as to why this is allowed to persist. And they don't primarily want to see this sort of content hosted on Twitch. Now, a lot of people point out the fact that there are, for example, mature content labels you can put on your streams, but what exactly does that mean on Twitch? Because even with a mature warning on your stream, you can still get banned for things like cleavage. You can still get banned for curse words. You can still get banned for doing risky behavior and stunts and things like that. So what exactly does that mature label mean? It clearly doesn't mean this stuff as applied to other people. So really, what does that mature warning even mean in the first place? But that's the big concern for a lot of people is, well, this is a platform that has a lot of young viewers on it. Why is Twitch protecting this sort of content when it probably shouldn't be there in the first place? Now, I saw a lot of people praising a recent clip from the YouTube streamer I Show Speed. And the, the goal and what a lot of people were celebrating was that I show speed show the hypocrisy of some of these Twitch meta people taking advantage of this whole thing. And what he did was do a male version of this where he was basically hel helicopter spinning his junk and doing exactly what they're doing censored as minimal as possible. Now, a lot of people are thinking this is a huge W for him, but honestly, despite the fact he's doing this to point out the hypocrisy, isn't he doing the same thing? as these streamers. He has a very predominantly young audience and he's doing the exact same thing they're doing. But of course he's doing it ironically. So I guess in some people's eyes, that's okay. Like if you're offended by the female streamers doing this stuff and exposing young people to this th these sorts of things, you should be offended by him doing the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if it was ironic. And continuing on from that, I mean, he would host a stream on YouTube. We can see it was touching nearly 100,000 active viewers where he brought on one of these people taking advantage of the meta and had her in a bikini and, and flaunting her body off the entire stream. So it's not just Twitch that's allowing these things. It's also YouTube. And we know YouTube, because he's a larger streamer, is probably not going to do anything, not to mention the fact that I show speed. You know, we're talking about a, a censorship trend here. He already accidentally flashed his audience before. So, you know, he should be a little careful with these sorts of things. But nonetheless, eventually, as a lot of people probably predicted watching this, uh, the hammer would come down, okay? Uh, it took about a week, but we started to see some of these streamers getting banned over the last day or so. Morgue Pie getting banned yesterday. And the main focus I want to stay with here for a few minutes is Asian Bunny, who got banned, I believe, two days ago. And she was considered by many the, uh, 
the godfather of this new Twitch meta. Now, how would she respond to getting banned? Well, it'd be kind of embarrassing, honestly. So she would make this response saying, guys, it's me. I'm the bad guy. I invented the meta, and now I'm the scapegoat that takes the bullet. My string of copycats, they're doing fine. No consequences, which is a micro problem, not even focusing on the real hypocrisy of what's at play on the platform. This is a very disingenuous statement. Number one, all the copycats are getting banned too. But also, yeah, you are facing consequences for what you're doing. You push the boundaries. This was your intent. Your intent was to push the boundaries and promote your adult content to the point of getting banned. You knew consequences were likely. In fact, it really wasn't the point you're trying to make. You ended up getting punished. So the hypocrisy you're aiming for only lasted a few days where they didn't touch your content. They did eventually ban you. So there was something there. And a lot of people point out the fact that people like Asian Bunny, they get banned all the time. It is a content loop that a lot of them do. They push the limits on Twitch to promote their OnlyFans. They get banned. They go back to their normal adult content. They get unbanned a week later and they return to Twitch and do the same thing. And they repeat that cycle over and over again. So this ban really means nothing. And lo and behold, to the probably shock of no one, only two days later, Asian Bunny was unbanned on Twitch. She basically got a one day ban per titty. Okay, that's the honest truth, okay? Only two days for doing all of this. Do you think she learned any sort of a lesson from this? It was a big plus for her adult content, obviously. She got huge promotion through Twitch on it and only received a two day ban, which is basically taking the weekend off. It's pretty ridiculous, but I wanted to touch upon one more thing before we went. A lot of VTubers are engaging in this trend. Uh, I would say that I haven't really seen anything on Twitch, but a lot of people are doing it on Twitter. And honestly, I've had enough with this whole trend and I'm tired of looking at it. So I've muted it at this point. And if you are tired, you can mute this whole uh, relevant set of terms to avoid this stuff. But yeah, VTubers are trying to use this to promote themselves. And it is what it is, okay? People are trying to use this to promote their content by having like a, a, a halfway topless shot of their VTuber model. But I don't think a lot of them are brave enough to go on Twitch, especially after the cam streamers have been getting banned. But it was just worth noting that, of course, because we talk about VTubers on this channel. But nonetheless, that is going to do it for this video. That is the new Twitch meta. They kind of reaped what they sowed. Sort of. Did they? I don't know. They only did for at least a little bit. And I see these trends are destined to happen over and over again until Twitch actually makes a firm and actually consistent stance on this sort of content but at this point it seems like they're not going to do that especially after unbanning people only two days after they got initially banned it's a crazy thing but it's it's twitch's hypocrisy on this stuff and it's not surprising in the slightest but that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys all enjoyed please share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys next time